we have shared with you all of the latest runway trends for 2023. We've talked about the trends that we absolutely will not be wearing, and we've shared with you all the latest styles and fashions and things that we are going to be seeing. But today, we're going to whittle it down to what are the things that we will actually be wearing in 2023. Christina and I are moms, regular ladies, doing all the things, running errands, groceries, all of that. And of course, we're not going to be dressing like the models on the runway. We're going to be wearing a lot of regular, real world outfits. So we wanted to share with you what those pieces are. Some of them are carried over from 2022. Some we have some new updates to share with you. But if that is your kind of thing, then definitely stay tuned. Yeah, we won't be wearing any thigh high slits in the grocery stores. So, <laughs> <laughs> But if you are new here, I'm Christina. This is my best friend, Kelly. We share with you the latest trends. We'll share with you some budget friendly hauls and some styling tips and tricks. So if that's something you're interested, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. We release videos every Sunday and Thursday and of course would love to have you join us. So the first thing that we will be wearing in 2023 that we have definitely been wearing and will keep on wearing is high-waisted, high-waisted everything. So you are going to see all over the runways lots of low-waisted, low-waisted jeans, low-waisted skirts, low-waisted shorts, but Christina and I have decided that's not for us. So we are sticking with high-waisted. We love the way it just defines the slimmest part of the waist, holds everything in, and just makes us feel longer and leaner. Absolutely. And you'll also find that high-waisted will also vary from store to store. So if you're someone who does have maybe a shorter torso and you're a little bit worried about looking like Pee Wee Herman and having it be too high up on your chest area, you can definitely really kind of test it out and see which stores or even which brands in the stores really kind of fit to your body and really give you that like proportion and shape that you're looking for. Yeah, and high-waisted can really be everything from about like a nine inch rise all the way up to, gosh, I think I've seen 12 yeah, or 13. 13. Mm -hmm. For me, I feel like the sweet spot is around it's nine. 11? Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, okay. I can go up to 11, but I think some of my favorites are like nine, 10. Um, so we'll definitely share with you some of our current favorites because I know for us, we're big jeans girls. Mm -hmm. So we definitely have some favorite high-waisted jeans right now. So we'll definitely be sure to insert some photos and share yeah. those with you because they're really good. So something else we'll definitely be wearing this year that we were loving last year are cropped cardigans. So some of them are a little bit longer, you know, kind of hide a little bit more of that tummy, but most of them will hit you right at that waistline. So if you're someone who is wearing high-waisted jeans, then this is something that really like the two go together, like peanut butter and jelly. So I will tell you the traditional cardigan that buttons all the way up is something that we're not really pulling too much. We're definitely leaning towards the ones that have that nice like V neckline. Cause of course for us, we love to elongate our neck and really like slim out our body, but they're coming in so many beautiful colors and with so many beautiful like different embellishments. Yes, I am a huge fan of this style of cardigan. A lot of times you'll see them um, being like a three button cardigan or a four button cardigan. For myself, having a short waist and also liking my high rise jeans, they typically, these cropped ones, hit me like right at the perfect spot where I don't have to tuck anything in, but I also don't have a lot of excess, you know, cardigan hanging down lower, making me feel larger in the middle. So it's a very flattering look. Some of them are a little bit more fitted to the body, like a ribbed knit. Some of them are slightly looser, but there are so many beautiful ones. I definitely have picked up some recently and I've been seeing them more and more in the store. So I think that this is a trend that you're going to see continue. I like to wear them as an actual shirt. So for me, the cardigan, I wear it as like a button down type of top, but you can also wear this as an outer layer, maybe over a camisole or even a t-shirt. And you can even throw it on over like a little spaghetti strap, like sundress or something. So definitely something that for sure we will continue to purchase and continue to wear in 2023. So this next one was a no brainer for me and that is we will continue to wear pastels. So of course, springtime, you know, who doesn't think of pastel colors, even though we're seeing all these beautiful bright shades all over the runways, which we love as well. But pastels, we're gonna keep wearing them, we're gonna keep loving them. For me, pastels are something I wear fall, winter, spring, and summer because I am just a pink girl, girly girl at heart. And I just think they're really beautiful, soft, 
feminine colors. If you are someone who has like a feminine type of style, then pastels are something you're really going to love and embrace, whether it's in a top or a pair of pants or shorts or a dress. I just, I love them. Yes, there's so many beautiful colors, and I recently heard that lighter pastel kind of colors are, is also a way to make you look younger. So you know, of course, I'm all about looking, you know, <laughs> a little bit younger. Anything I can do to fight back that clock. But yeah, it's so pretty. So whether you're picking something like a very like soft blue kind of shade or a light lavender, of course, pink, um, but there's so many beautiful ones. Even like a softer, like lighter yellow color is also really beautiful or green. So there's so many different choices. There's there's obviously so many different pieces also that you can incorporate it in, whether it's your tops or your skirts or something, but it's also in your accessories. So it might also come in like a really pretty bag. You might find some beautiful pastel colors or maybe in a beautiful like blush colored shoe. So there's so many ways they're endless to really incorporate these beautiful pastel colors. So speaking of colors, we not only love our pastels, but we also love our bright colors. So during the fall and the winter months, Kelly and I will wear more like jewel tone type of colors. But of course, during the spring and summer, we are all about just that fun and vibrant kind of color. So this can be everything from a beautiful, like vibrant fuchsia or a bright yellow. It can even be a beautiful, like royal blue, which we have shared with you in our trends video is going to be a hot trend in 2023 so we just love really incorporating all of these brighter colors for me I always feel like it really helps to you know brighten up my skin tone as well when I'm wearing these beautiful like bright sunny kind of colors yes they are so cheerful and beautiful we recently did a video on how to incorporate these new bright trendy colors into your classic wardrobe so if you're looking for ways to do that definitely check out that video but there are so many beautiful ones that are really hot so this is definitely a big trend for 2023 but something that we have been doing and will continue doing i personally love the fuchsia of course but there's also the emerald green we talked about the the orange, the beautiful fiery red. I mean, so many great choices and definitely something that will work for everyone. So for sure, this is something that we're going to keep on doing in 2023. So if you have been watching us for a while, you know that both Christina and I love a great monochromatic look, and that is not going to change for 2023. We are definitely going to keep that going. Monochromatic is when you use the same color from head to toe. It can be different shades of that color. It can be different textures of that color, but whether you're going for a classic black look or an all white look, monochromatic is so great for so many reasons. It elongates the body. It's very slim. It's very classy, it's very elevated, and it's something that we absolutely love. And in 2023, I'm hoping to incorporate more, maybe some monochromatic colored looks, whether it's pastels or brights, but I love that head to toe look. I think that it's so elegant and so easy to wear and so easy to put together. So definitely something we're going to keep doing. Yeah, I feel like we've been doing monochromatic looks pretty much since we started our channel. For me, I always feel like it gives this very like effortless, like put together look when I'm creating a monoch monochromatic outfit. I definitely recently noticed that I have been pairing a lot of navy with my denim jeans. And that was something where I didn't really kind of think of it as a monochromatic look before. But of course, when you think about it, it's just a different shade of that blue color. And of course, with that denim, which I am wearing all the time, of course, I would then be gravitating towards a navy top that would also just really help to kind of create that stylish look and elongate that body. All right, so it shouldn't be any surprise to you ladies that we're going to continue wearing our sneakers this year. So 2023, is definitely a year for our sneakers and now they have so many cute retro ones so we're definitely moving away from more of this like rounded toe sneaker to more of this like almond like a little bit like pointier type of sneaker so whether you're doing something that's like a multicolored, like neutral or even if you want to add like a little pop of color with like a little pastel whether that's like a pink or green there's so many different ones and of course the embellishments are endless that you can find with our sneakers. So for me, I really feel like sneakers is just a very comfortable, practical, everyday shoe that I can wear whether I'm running errands, you know, running my kids around or just, you know, hanging out with some friends. Yeah, I absolutely love 
the sneaker trend. I think that it's one that I've probably been doing definitely in 2022, maybe a little in 2021, but it's definitely one that I just find myself doing more and more and more, looking for ways to incorporate sneakers into my looks, probably because I have a very casual lifestyle and they're just so practical and comfortable. They're great for your feet and there's just so many great options now that it's hard to resist. So sneakers are some of my absolute favorite shoes and I don't see that changing anytime soon. It's definitely a trend that I am looking to add more in to my collection in 2023. Yeah, and I think the reason why too is because it's moving away from more of this gym type of shoe and yes. looking more like a cute little stylish sneaker that you can pair with your outfit. Yeah, and since I haven't seen a gym for quite a <laughs> while, it's probably why I didn't wear sneakers for so long, but now that they're for the couch potatoes too, I'm all in. <laughs> So this one will come as no surprise. It's definitely one we have been wearing for years and it's not going anywhere. And that is button up or button down blouses, whichever you like to refer to them. I know there's like a, a certain way that mm -hmm. you refer to them, but basically just the classic collared long sleeve button up, button down blouses. These can be in lots of different fabrics, anything from cotton to linen to silk to satin. I mean, just so many options, so many color choices. You've even got some patterns like florals and recently we've got some polka dots, we've got some stripes and it's just such a classic easy to wear shirt that you can style in so many ways. We have definitely been wearing these for years when we want to be a little bit dressier. We go for maybe a silk or satin. When we're looking to be really casual, we're typically grabbing more of a cotton. When it's hot outside, we're reaching for those linen pieces. So definitely one that we will not stop wearing. Yes, and of course, now that they're also creating them in the, like these little like pom-poms, like Swiss dot ones, I absolutely love it. Because of course, the more embellishments and different ways that you can can dress up a button-up shirt, I'm gonna love it. So for me, a button-up shirt definitely is like my go-to like uniform. So if I'm ever unsure of what I should wear and I need to kind of you know, wear an outfit that I feel like is a bit more put together, I will always gravitate instantly towards my button ups. And it's because it always creates a very like nice flowy silhouette on top. I'm then able to wear like a trendier type of jean and a cute little shoe and effortlessly together. It just always like creates this outfit where I, you know, get compliments on it. Everyone always says like how put together I am when really it's just a plain old top with a pair of jeans and some shoes. Yeah. So this next one that we're gonna be wearing in 2023 is one that I'm super excited about. I'm so glad that the trend is still going strong because I love these and that is loafers. I love loafers. I love all the different colors they come in. Some pretty like pastel colors, like a pink, white. I've also seen like some really like pretty blues. And then of course there's that traditional black that I just cannot get away from. From. So some of these loafers definitely have some hardware that you might see on them. Others might have more of this like penny loafer look or it might be a little bit of a trendier kind of loafer with like a very like chunky type of lug sole. But really it doesn't matter what kind of loafer that you kind of gravitate towards. They're all going to be a hot trend this year. And for me, it's a shoe that's super duper comfortable. I love loafers because I feel like it's an alternative to a sneaker. It's just as comfortable, but yet for me, when I wear them, I immediately feel like it steps it up as far as, you know, the um, the chic factor. Yeah, I really love them too. I mean, for a while, I feel like I wasn't really reaching for that style. And then they came back into trend and I just fell in love with them all over again. I think that they are so classic and so cute and they look great with the button down, the button up shirts that we just talked about. And I love all the different like colors and embellishments that are coming out. I recently put in an order for a pair that have some pearls along mm -hmm. the top. So I just love the beautiful like tan and blush toned ones. I like some white ones. The classic black is beautiful. The cognac, so many great, great choices. And I feel like it's just so easy to wear, especially if you are a jeans girl like we are. They look really cute with a simple pair of jeans and a simple top. But you can also style them with some pants. I mean, they're just such a great option. And we've recently found some very good like budget friendly ones to share with you as well. So I'm so happy this is still going strong in 2023. 
So another thing that we will definitely be wearing in 2023 is neutral colored denim. So denim that is very like vibrant colors or pastel colors and things like that is starting to be a little bit dated. We're not really seeing much of that. However, what we are starting to see in stores a lot right now are these neutral colored denim. So think about things like a soft tan color, um, a light, light brown, a cream tone denim, even a nice gray shade. And of course, black denim is always on trend. So these very like neutral neutral color denims are so beautiful and one of the reasons that I really like this is I am a huge denim girl and so I'm always reaching for jeans, 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 jeans and sometimes you just want a little something different. I've always been big on my white denim and my traditional like medium wash blue but now to be able to add in like a nice off-white cream color, I recently picked up like a tan type of color and a gray. It just gives you some more options if you are someone who's very casual and likes to wear jeans a lot. Absolutely, and I think that for myself, like I've always had like the traditional like black or um, a gray or even like a white denim. But of course now with all of these beautiful like cream and tans, that's for sure something I'm looking to incorporate more this year. And it's because I feel like sometimes you can buy like a beautiful pant in those colors. But for my lifestyle, I don't really tend to wear a lot of pants. I definitely gravitate more towards denim. So when I'm able to wear them in these, you know, like more neutral colors, I feel like it still gives me an elevated look. However, However, I don't have to invest in a pant that I probably will be limited in how I style versus a denim jean that I can style numerous ways and really like fits well with my lifestyle. So Kelly and I have been wearing wrap style tops and dresses forever, and we're gonna keep on wearing them into 2023. So whether we're selecting them in a top or in a dress, Wrap style is really just a great style and cut that's perfect for so many women's different body shapes. So whether you're someone who's a bit curvier, whether you're someone who is maybe a little bit more um, straight, like up and down and doesn't have much curves, you could also be uh, a size, you know, like 20 or you could be a size two. A wrap style top and dress really just creates that hourglass figure, a very feminine looking feature, you know, and figure for a lot of women. So I think think that you know for all of us we all would like to create this like waistline that looks like it's a bit more chiseled and that wrap style top and dress really does that work for you which I think is the reason why we love it so much yes I am so happy that this is such a classic cut for dresses for tops it's just I don't think it'll ever go out of style I think it's been in around forever I don't think we'll ever stop wearing it once I kind of discovered that wrap style dresses really are a dress style that really really works for my body. I'm much more rectangular shape. I feel like now it's so much easier for me to shop when I need to find a dress. I really, you know, hone in on those a wrap style or a faux wrap. I love a good like faux wrap sweater. It's such a great way to add some shape to the body, accentuate those curves. It's just really classic, really beautiful. There's a reason they've been around forever and there's a reason that we will never stop wearing them. We hope you enjoyed these real life pieces that we will be wearing and everything will be linked in the description box below, everything that is still available to you. And also we wanted to remind you that if you haven't done so yet, make sure you enter our giveaway over on Instagram. You can do that by subscribing to us here on YouTube, following us over on Instagram and liking and commenting on all of our posts for the month of February. Then you will be entered into a random drawing where you can win a $200 gift card of your choice. So don't forget to do that and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.